you. <laughs> Thank you and good morning, everyone, to parents both here and afar, to teachers, support staff, and of course, our graduates. Uh, I'm going to keep this short and brief so we can get on to the important part of the show, and that's students. Um, but as Ms. Grell Teddy said, today is a special day because we're here really for two parts. And that's what, what I'm excited about. One is the congratulations and the celebration for your accomplishments over this past school year. Um, I've had the opportunity to kind of watch from afar and up close and, and watch you grow and mature and wander through the halls, changing classes. And what we're celebrating is growth for you. First and foremost, the academic growth. And I think that's the main reason why your parents wanted you to come here. They wanted you to be successful and develop as far as you can here at Columbia. What people don't see is the personal growth that you experience while you're here. The maturity, the responsibility, the independence that you develop over the school year. Just last week, I was at my own son's grade 12 graduation. And like CIC, they have a very small JMS program there too. And the grade eight valedictorian uh, who addressed his class put it or described it as, it's kind of like living in a submarine when you have a small group of JMS students together. Because you see them every day, you can't avoid them. Everywhere you go, they're there. But when you get some time away from that submarine, you realize how much you miss them and how much you can't wait to get back and see them. And I, I hope that's kind of the experience that you've developed over this last year, two years here in a small, unique JMS setting is that camaraderie, the relationships that you've developed for it. But on the other hand, we're here today to look forward. And it's time for you to leave the submarine. It's coming to dock now and you're getting on to the big base, moving into grade nine. And with that comes some other responsibilities for you. And you've probably been waiting for a little bit more independence so that your teachers don't necessarily walk you over to Ainsley Wood for lunch or back over from Ainsley Wood back to classes. And you'll be getting that independence. But with the independence comes responsibility. So the important piece for you to remember moving forward, grads, is that you need to accept responsibility more for yourself now. The JMS teachers won't be looking over you all the time, feeling like you're in that submarine, but we're not gonna forget about you in grade nine because your grade nine teachers and working with myself and Ms. Baker and the rest of the support staff are gonna keep an eye on you, okay? Make sure you're doing okay. Make sure you're not struggling with academics or with that personal social growth. And if we see or hear from your teachers that you may need a little bit something extra, we'll be there to help support you to make sure you be successful because that's ultimately what we want. We want you to do the best that you can and we want to give you everything that we have available to make sure that happens for you. So again, it's that balance between your independence and your responsibility that's going to become important moving forward for you. Just because nobody's Keeping an eye on you as much doesn't mean that you stop doing what you've been doing this year to be successful. The habits that you've developed this year under the JMS team are invaluable in your success in high school. So kind of in conclusion, I want to welcome those of you that will be joining us in the high school in August. Those of you that aren't and are moving on, I wish you all the best and good luck in your future endeavors. And I'm looking forward to enjoying the rest of the ceremony with you. Congratulations, grads.